council members set to vote on adding a question about City Hall Park renovations to the town meeting day ballot after a local action group received the required number of signatures to force a vote. Yeah, and hundreds of Burlingtonians showing up at City Hall tonight to let their opinions about the park be known. And Local 22's Devin Bates is live from City Hall with more about that for us. Devin, what's going on? Yeah, Mike, this public comment section lasted over two hours here this evening at City Hall. There were roughly 60 people that took to the microphone, most of them to give their thoughts on those park renovations. Now, many of them were with the group Keep the Park Green, the group responsible for forcing this city council vote. While their main concern was making sure the trees currently in the park aren't cut down for this project, we also heard concerns from people feeling that the democratic process isn't being followed in a way that gives the community a chance to voice their input. On the other hand, there were plenty of people that felt residents have had that chance and thought the wording of the question proposed by Keep the Park Green would confuse voters and guide them towards voting in favor of their question. This process has not been transparent. The people who signed the petition think the plan cuts too many trees, paves too much green space, is too expensive, and would destroy the historic character of the park. Um, most people standing here, sitting here, have been a part of that process. I've seen that process since 2012. While I have not been a part of it, I've had many opportunities to be and have seen it in the public. And now, as we said, the city council meeting is still going on behind the doors here. And so we will try to bring any updates we have for you once that finally does go to a vote. But again, due to that public comment session, they are still in there hashing it out right now. So live from City Hall, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.